Emily Johnson, a 19-year-old, sat alone in the dimly lit, small room, her gaze fixed on the tiny figure wrapped in a pink blanket in the makeshift crib next to her bed, little Sophia, just a few days old, slept peacefully, unaware of the emotional storms raging within her mother, silent tears streamed down Emily's face, a mix of love, fear, and suffocating despair, how am I going to do this, Sophia, she whispered, her trembling voice breaking the silence of the night, how can I give you what you deserve, the walls of the room seemed to close in on her, every band poster and photograph from happier days now cruel reminders of a life that felt irreparably lost, the clock read almost midnight, and the weight of loneliness and responsibility crushed Emily, she got up and walked to the window, looking out at the quiet streets of the small town, I should be excited, planning our future together, but all I feel is fear, she murmured to herself, a painful confession in the stillness of the night. Turning back to Sophia, Emily knelt by the crib, gently caressing her daughter's face, I love you more than anything, my angel, but I just don't know if I'm capable of being the mother you need. As the hours passed, Emily's decisions solidified in her broken heart, with a soft kiss on Sophia's forehead, she whispered a painful promise, I'll find a better home for you, someone who can give you everything I can't. Grabbing a small backpack, Emily packed the essentials for Sophia, diapers, a bottle, an extra blanket, each item a reminder of the decision she was about to make, each one weighing on her heart like lead, trembling, she picked up Sophia in her arms, wrapping her in the blanket, I'll keep you safe until then, I promise, she whispered, fighting back tears, with her daughter in her arms, Emily left the room, each step an echo of her anguish and determination. She knew that what she was about to do would change their lives forever but in her tormented mind, it was the only option to give Sophia the life she deserved. The question lingered, in Emily's place, would you leave your daughter to fate, or would you have the courage to face all the adversities that were to come, leave your thoughts in the comments, we want to know your opinion. On the other side of town, Lucas Gray, a man marked by hardships and a daily struggle for survival on the unforgiving city streets, walked slowly along the deserted sidewalk. His tired gaze reflected the untold stories of a man who had seen better days, the cold night wind. Tugged at his worn-out coat, but hunger was the true bother, Lucas searched for scraps of food in the dumpster, a routine that had painfully become familiar, then, a soft, almost muffled sound reached his ears, a faint but unmistakable cry of a baby, Lucas stopped, furrowing his brow, questioning if his ears were deceiving him, cautiously, he approached a nearby dumpster from where the sound seemed to originate, it can't be. He murmured to himself, carefully, he opened the dumpster and found a baby. Wrapped in a thin blanket with diapers and a baby bottle, the baby's blue eyes were filled with tears and fear, additionally, there was a note that read, my name is Sophia, my mommy can't take care of me, please help me, my god, what are they doing to you here, little one, Lucas spoke softly, gently picking up the baby in his arms, Sophia still crying, looked at Lucas, their eyes meeting in a moment of silent connection. Holding the baby close to his chest, Lucas felt an unfamiliar warmth fill. His heart, don't worry, I'll take care of you, I'll protect you, he promised, cradling Sophia in his arms, he knew he needed help, but who would believe a man in his situation, he began to walk quickly, searching for somewhere to seek help, someone will help us, little Sophia, he said more to himself than to the baby, we won't give up. With each step, Lucas felt the weight of responsibility growing. He was determined to change the fate of little Sophia, even if it meant confronting his own demons. On that cold night under the dim city street lights, Lucas Gray, a man forgotten by the world, became an unexpected guardian, he embarked on a journey that would transform not only Sophia's life but his own, with little Sophia in his arms, Lucas hurried through the poorly lit streets, desperately seeking help. His steps were fast and determined, but his heart pounded with uncertainty and fear of the unknown, he knew he needed to find someone. Anyone who could assist the baby who now depended on him, that's when he saw the flashing light of a parked police car in the distance, finally, Lucas sighed in relief, adjusting the blanket around Sophia to shield her from the cold, clutching the baby to his chest, he approached the patrol car, frantically waving at Officer David Miller, who was seated inside. As Miller got out of the car, his hand instinctively went to his belt, ready for any eventuality. The disheveled figure of Lucas holding a child immediately struck him, what are you doing with this baby, Miller demanded, his voice laden with 
Suspicion, please, you have to help me, Lucas implored, the urgency in his voice palpable, I found this baby in the trash, she needs help, Miller looked skeptically at Lucas, his training and instincts telling him not to let his guard down, a baby in the trash, that sounds too convenient, how do I know you're not involved in something more sinister, Miller questioned, I swear, I'm just trying to help, Lucas insisted, desperation evident in his eyes, please, look at her, she's scared and cold, I wouldn't harm a child, Miller observed the man in front of him, concern and fear were evident, but his experience made him question everything, stay where you are, don't make any sudden moves, he said cautiously as he approached, I don't want any trouble, Lucas continued, his gaze fixed on the officer, I just couldn't leave her there, please, you have to believe me, in the midst of the tense encounter, Lucas had completely forgotten about the note he found along with Sophia to show to the officer. He was so absorbed in the situation that he completely forgot. Miller looked at Sophia, whose little blue eyes watched him with an innocence that touched his heart, he picked up the radio, I need an ambulance and backup, I have a situation here with a possibly abandoned baby, as they waited for the ambulance to arrive, the tension between Lucas and Miller remained palpable, Lucas held Sophia tightly, praying that the truth of his words would be recognized, Miller, though still wary, couldn't ignore the glimpse of humanity he saw in the desperate man before. Him, Officer David Miller didn't fully believe Lucas, so he decided to check the security cameras at the mall where Lucas claimed to have found the baby, tension filled the small security room at the mall where Miller, accompanied by Lucas, anxiously awaited the security manager to pull up the footage from the past few hours, Lucas, with his worn-out clothes and a face marked by life on the streets, appeared out of place in that high-tech room, his eyes, however, were fixed on the screen, his expression a mix of anxiety and hope, I'm telling you, officer, I found the baby in the trash, Lucas reiterated, his voice choked with concern, I just wanted to help, Miller, with his arms crossed, watched Lucas with a still skeptical gaze, let's see what the cameras have to say, he said, his voice firm but with a hint of uncertainty that had arisen after witnessing Lucas's genuine interaction with little Sophia. The security manager finally found the correct portion of the recording and pressed. Play, the black and white images displayed the shopping mall's exterior area with the dumpster clearly visible, they watched as Lucas approached the dumpster, opened it, and retrieved little Sophia from there, there it is, sir, Lucas pointed at the screen, his voice trembling, I told the truth, the security footage revealed the authenticity of Lucas's actions, prompting a shift in Officer Miller's perception. The uncertainty that lingered began to dissipate as the truth unfolded before them. Shedding light on the genuine act of compassion and rescue carried out by the man forgotten by the world. Miller watched as his hardened face softened, the reality of the situation unfolding before his eyes, he observed the care with which Lucas treated Sophia, the urgency with which he sought help, a sense of remorse began to grow within him, watching the footage, Lucas realized he had read the note and then remembered he had kept it in his pocket, he handed it to the officer and said, that's how I know her name, it was on the note, I just forgot, I apologize, Mr. Gray, Miller spoke, his voice, reflecting discomfort, I was wrong to judge you so quickly, Lucas looked at Miller, relief and gratitude evident on his tired face, all that matters now is that Sophia is safe, he replied, his voice filled with emotion, Miller nodded, a newfound respect for Lucas emerging, you saved her life, he said sincerely, or a hero, Mr. Gray, Miller's words made Lucas lower his head, unaccustomed to praise or recognition. As they left the security room, the officer by his side, Lucas felt a strange sense of hope, on that night, not only had Sophia's life been saved, but Lucas's own humanity had been rediscovered and acknowledged, the morning sun shone on the city, bringing a new day and, for Lucas Gray, a new reality, the news of his heroic act in saving little Sophia had quickly spread throughout the community. The same streets that had previously offered him only indifference and suspicion now greeted him with looks of admiration and respect, Lucas walked with an unfamiliar sense of purpose. Still trying to get used to the newfound attention, passing by the local bakery, Mrs. Henderson, the owner, called out to him, Lucas, Lucas Gray, she exclaimed, hurrying out of the shop with a warm smile, he stopped, surprised, yes, Mrs. Henderson, I heard what you did, saving that poor child, she said, her eyes shining with a mix of joy and surprise, I never imagined, you're a true hero, you know, Lucas, 
uncomfortable with the praise, nodded shyly, I just did what anyone would do, Mrs. Henderson. Well, I think you deserve more credit. She insisted, pushing a bag of fresh bread into his hands, here, it's the least I can do to thank you, he looked at the bag, touched by her kindness, thank you, Mrs. Henderson, this means a lot to me, continuing on his way, Lucas was greeted by other neighborhood residents, people who had barely acknowledged him before now stopped him on the street, offering words of gratitude and admiration, in the town's central square, a group of volunteers from the local church set up a small fundraising stand, when they saw him, they waved for him to approach, we're collecting donations to help you get back on your feet, explained Mr. Thomas, one of the volunteers, your courage has inspired all of us, Lucas felt a wave of emotion, I, I don't know what to say, I didn't expect all of this, Mr. Thomas said with a friendly smile, well, it's time for our community to give back. You've shown all of us the true meaning of courage and compassion, for the first time in a long time, Lucas felt like part of. Something greater, a community that recognized him not as a man on the streets but as a human being of immeasurable worth, the shadows of his past were beginning to dissipate, giving way to a glimmer of hope and a promising future. At the police station, Officer David Miller and his team gathered around a series of monitors, the images from the mall's security cameras reflected in their focused eyes. The mission was clear and urgent, locate Sophia's mother, Officer Miller, with a serious expression, was leading the operation, let's zoom in on this part, he instructed, pointing to a corner of the screen where a hooded figure appeared, we need a better view of that vehicle, one of the detectives, Sergeant Reynolds, worked on the controls, zooming in on the image, looks like a sedan, dark blue, maybe black, he observed, I'll check with the DMV if we can get a plate match, Miller watched closely, his demeanor reflecting the gravity of the situation, we need to find this mother before, it's too late, Sophia deserves more than being abandoned. Meanwhile, in the break room, two officers discussed the case, do you really believe she abandoned her own daughter, one of them asked, the other replied, I don't know, but it's our job to find out and ensure that child's safety, back in the control room, Sergeant Reynolds announced a discovery, here it is, we found a match, the car is registered under the name Emily Johnson, Miller leaned in closer to the monitors. Acknowledging Reynolds' great work, let's track down the last known location of that car, we need to locate her as soon as possible, the team worked tirelessly, scrutinizing the footage and coordinating with other units, despite his focus on the task at hand, Miller couldn't help but feel a twinge of sympathy for Emily, what could have driven a young mother to such desperation, he wondered aloud, we don't know what she's been through, boss Reynolds replied, but we're close to finding out. With Emily's vehicle's location now known, Miller and his team prepared to depart, let's bring Emily in for some questioning, Miller declared, and hopefully, we can help both her and Sophia find some peace, the police car quickly left, each team member aware of the importance of this mission, not only for Sophia but also to uncover the truth behind Emily's desperate act, the afternoon turned into twilight when Officer David Miller and his team arrived at the address linked to Emily Johnson's car. The neighborhood was peaceful, with houses lining tree-lined streets, a stark contrast. To the gravity of the situation they faced, the police car stopped in front of a modest two-story residence, and Miller took a deep breath, preparing for the confrontation accompanied by two other officers, Miller walked up to the front door and knocked, moments later, Emily appeared, a young woman with a tired look and a defensive posture, can I help you, she asked, her voice trembling, revealing her nervousness, Miller. Maintaining a serious expression, introduced himself, I'm Officer Miller. We need to talk about your daughter. Sophia, color drained from Emily's face, I don't know what you're talking about, she replied quickly, too quickly, Miller sighed, we have security camera evidence, Emily, we know you left Sophia in a trash can at Bagel Park Mall, Emily's gaze faltered, and for a moment, she seemed on the verge of breaking down, no, that's not true, she stammered but the conviction in her voice had disappeared, Emily. We understand that you must be going through a tough time, Miller continued, his voice softer now. But we need to understand why you did what you did, tears started to form in Emily's eyes, you don't understand, she whispered, her denial facade starting to crumble, I had no choice, I was alone with no money, no support, I thought it would be better for her, Miller motioned to the other officers, signaling them to stand by but not advance, talking about it is the first step, Emily, we can help you, 
but you need to be honest with us, Emily lowered her head, sobbing now, I just wanted her to be safe. I'm a terrible mother, I don't deserve her, Officer Miller approached, maintaining a respectful distance, you made a serious mistake, Emily, but it doesn't define who you are, we'll help you do the right thing now, as Emily was escorted to the police car, the weight of her actions bore down on her like a ton of bricks, she had crossed a line from which there was no turning back, but now, facing the consequences, there was a glimpse of hope for a better future, both for her and for Sophia at the police station, the air was heavy with the weight of silence and anticipation, Emily Johnson, now handcuffed, was a shadow of the young woman she had once been, her eyes, once full of life, were now dull, lost in a sea of guilt and regret, she was led into an interrogation room where Officer David Miller and a detective awaited Emily Johnson, you're being charged with attempted murder and child abuse, Miller began, his voice firm but not without a hint of sympathy, we understand this is a difficult situation, but we need you to cooperate with us, Emily sat, her trembling hands resting in her lap, I know what I did, she murmured, her voice almost inaudible, I'm a monster, why did you do this, Emily, the detective asked, leaning forward, why abandon your daughter in such a way, the words seemed to hit Emily like daggers, each one reopening the wound of her decision, I was scared, she began, tears flowing freely now, I had no one, my parents, they kicked me out when they found out about the pregnancy, I had no money, no job, nothing, Miller watched Emily, his heart heavy with the complexity of the situation and Sophia's father, he left me when I told him about the pregnancy, she sobbed, I was completely alone, I thought leaving her somewhere where someone could find her, where she'd be safe, would be better than trying to care for her on my own, but why a dumpster, Emily, why not a hospital or a police station? The detective pressed, seeking to understand the logic behind her desperate choice, Emily. Shrunk back as if trying to disappear, I was scared, she whispered, scared of being judged, scared of what they would say or do to me, I just wanted her to be safe, Miller sighed, closing his own eyes for a moment Emily, I understand you were in a tough spot, but what you did put Sophia's life in great danger, now you need to face the legal consequences of your actions, as Emily was led back to her cell, the reality of her situation finally hit her, she was alone, facing serious charges, her freedom and future uncertain, guilt and remorse consumed her, Every thought of Sophia a sharp reminder of the maternal love she had tragically betrayed while Lucas was being recognized for being a hero who saved little Sophia, the child was in a temporary foster home, receiving the care and love she deserved, the social worker, Mrs. Taylor, watched the girl play on the floor with a maternal fondness, she's so strong, Mrs. Taylor commented to a colleague despite everything she's been through, she still smiles. She's a fighter. We already have some families interested in adopting her, replied the colleague, Sophia is going to have a loving home, I'm sure of it, back in Lucas's new life, he had managed to find a roof over his head due to the help he was receiving, also a job at a local workshop, thanks to a community member's recommendation, each day that passed, he worked hard, grateful for the opportunity to start over. His thoughts often returned to Sophia, the little girl who had changed his life. He thought, Looking at the starry night sky, Sophia, wherever you are, I hope you're happy and safe, Lucas knew that the road ahead still had challenges, but for the first time in a long time, he felt hope and purpose, the community had given him a second chance, and he was determined to make the most of it, as the sun set, painting the sky in shades of orange and purple, the intertwined stories of Emily, Lucas, and Sophia reached a significant turning point, sitting on a park bench, Lucas reflected on the journey he had traveled, once lost in the shadows of life on the streets, he now found himself bathed in the light of hope and purpose, who would have thought that one act of kindness would change everything, he thought aloud, looking at his hands, he remembered the small weight of Sophia in his arms and smiled, helping that little one help me find myself, meanwhile, within the prison walls, Emily faced her own demons, sitting in her cell, she flipped through a self-help book, a Donation from the prison library, every page is a step toward forgiving myself, she murmured to herself, Sophia, I hope one day you can forgive me too, Emily had started writing letters to Sophia, letters she kept in a box, hoping one day she could deliver them when she's ready, she whispered, placing another letter in the box in another corner of the city, in a cozy home filled with love and laughter, Sophia, now with a new family, 
played happily on the living room floor, her new parents, Anna and Michael. Watched with love and admiration, she's our little miracle, Anna said, holding Michael's hand, Michael nodded, smiling at Sophia, we'll give her the love and life she deserves, back at the park, Lucas stood up, taking in a deep breath of the cool night air, now, I'll move forward with this new beginning, he said to himself, feeling a sense of purpose and determination, the story of Emily, Lucas, and Sophia, intertwined by fate, was one of pain and challenges but also of growth, forgiveness, and renewed hope, each, in their own way, had found a new direction in life, a path illuminated by the strength of human resilience and the ability to turn adversity into opportunities for a fresh start. Thank you for joining us on this journey, don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up so you won't miss any of our next videos, we'll be back with more stories as fast as we can.